It's a lovely sunny day. We're here at Stanmore Station. It's time to do secrets of the Bakerloo line. And in case you're thinking, has Jeff lost his mind? No, I haven't. Did you know that Stanmore used to be the terminus of the Bakerloo line? Stanmore is obviously on the Jubilee line now, but spent 40 years as a Bakerloo line station and even a Metropolitan line station for nine years before that. The main Bakerloo line that we know now at Harrow and Wildstone has also ended at Stonebridge Park, Queen's Park and Watford Junction in various iterations over the years. People often ask me what's my favourite line or station, we'll save that for another day, but my least favourite, sorry Bakerloo, is probably this section that we're on now, north of Queen's Park up to Harrow and Wildstone. It seems a bit unloved. There's a train shed here, and there's always like a couple of trains parked in the sidings. I just find it really spooky. Just not at all beautiful. Don't like it. Queen's Park may be my least favorite station on the underground. Don't worry, south of Queen's Park, the Bakerloo gets a lot nicer. So this exit only staircase at Maida Vale isn't used anymore. But what is lovely, are these mosaics? The station dates back to 1915, but recently won a Heritage Award as an example of the right way to modernise a historic building. So out of Zone 2 and into Zone 1, next stop, some more tiles which reveal a previous name. So the National Railway Station at Marylebone was once called, or was going to be called, Great Central. Through Baker Street, where you can't help but notice Sherlock Holmes, of course, and then on to our next station. So we're at Regent's Park tube station, one of only four stops on the Bakerloo line not to have a surface building. But here's the most important thing you need to know. Regent's Park, you might think, is the place to come for Regent's Park for London Zoo. But if you're going to London Zoo, go to Camden Town Station instead. It's nearer. So we're heading to Piccadilly Circus, and a couple of things here I need to employ the help of someone. So I'd like to introduce you to Ben. And you're happy to be my stooge, my setup man. Relatively happy, yeah. Relatively happy, okay. I'm going to show you uh, a secret which I use all the time. There's a sneaky shortcut from the northbound Baker Loo line platforms here down to the Piccadilly lines. So I made Ben go the long way and I went the quick way just to check to see who got there first. So you go that way and I'm going to head this way. Right, so I have to follow the signs for the Piccadilly line. So whilst Ben follows the official signs, I take this sneaky shortcut. Through here. It's part of the old emergency spiral staircase, of which a small section they've left in use. Down the stairs. And then down these steps. Which admittedly is against the flow of passengers who may have just got off a train. Still not there. And I make the Piccadilly line train. That was very quick. Another minute later, and Ben eventually shows up at the platform. You mean, this is the train after the one that I would have got. At last, what can I say? If you'd have gone my way. So, so you're basically, to go the, the way they sign you, you can miss out by a whole train. There you go. It is signed as a shortcut from the Piccadilly to the Bakerloo, just not the other way around. This is probably my favourite view, not just on the Bakerloo line, but on the whole of the underground. Here at Piccadilly Circus, come to the back of southbound trains or to the front of northbound trains. And there's a magical bit here where the wall isn't there and you can see across onto the other platform. And look, there's Ben. Hello, Ben. We had a quick look at the Lego map, which is temporary, and the lovely world clock, which is rather more permanent, and then towards our last stop on the line. Stand right at the back of the platforms at Elephant and Castle, and you can see where an extension was almost built to Camberwell. It wasn't, but instead at night, they put two trains to sleep there. Every night they park two trains in the sidings down here. And in the morning, the first train out of Elephant and Castle, the driver steps down onto the track, walks along, gets in the train, and then drives it out. It's cool. So we're at the end of the Bakerloo line at Elephant and Castle. There was already a tube station here though, 16 years earlier. Over here, a completely separate station built by the City and South London Railway, what of course is now the Northern Line. And they're actually two separate stations which weren't first initially linked underground. You had to change at street level to get between the two competing companies. That's it, we're at the end. End of the Bakerloo Line, a terminating station in the Zone 1 area, which is a rare thing. I'm going back on the train. That's only 117, not 124.